All right, we're back again, and we are going to be doing the hepatic portal system right now. Ready? Let's go. So remember, let's think about our abdominal organs again for a second. We got our liver, we got our stomach, we got our spleen, we've got our small intestine, and we got our big intestine. And the thing to remember is the blood from these organs has got to go to the liver first before it gets back into the general circulation. If you think about that, it's going to make sense. You can absorb toxins in your stomach, alcohol, for example. You can absorb drugs. You can absorb other bad things in your intestine. And you want to send that blood with those toxins and those potentially even pathogens to the liver first so the liver can have a chance to deal with it. You're going to absorb nutrients in your small intestine. We want to go to the liver with those nutrients so we can process them, maybe store them. In our spleen, we're going to destroy red blood cells. We need to take the resulting leftover iron, the bilirubin, and get it to the liver. So we got to see how blood vessels are going to go from these organs to the liver. And that's what we're going to do. Now what I like to do is I like to take my intestines and toss them to the cat's right. Take my stomach and spleen and then toss them to the cat's left. And when I do that, what I can find here is a, a set of vessels that to me kind of looks like an upside down Y or an upside down T, depending on how straight we get it. But this big one right here that the probe is under, the one that I'm touching with the probe right there, that big one is the hepatic portal vein. It's called hepatic because it's going to the liver. It's a weird vein in that it's going to the liver as opposed to just going straight back eventually towards the heart. So this hepatic portal vein right here is formed by the junction of two veins. I've got a superior mesenteric vein right here, and I've got a gastrosplenic vein right here. Gastrosplenic, the name tells you exactly where it's coming from. Gastro, stomach, splenic, spleen. And if we follow this guy back, so here's my gastrosplenic vein again. Here's my hepatic portal vein again. If we follow the gastrosplenic vein back, we are going to eventually find a gastric vein and a splenic vein. I say splenic. Should I say splenic? I don't I know. I say splenic. You say splenic? Yeah. Awesome. So either we're both right or both wrong. <laughs> Good deal. So let's come back. We got our gastrosplenic vein. We got our hepatic portal vein. We got our superior mesenteric vein. And the superior mesenteric vein is going to drain much of the small intestine, pretty much all the small intestine, as well as much of the large intestine. There is one other vein we got to meet. And if we look at our large intestine, right here we got a yellow guy. Let me see if I can pop my probe in here. We got a yellow vein right in there. That's our inferior mesenteric vein, which basically walks up the large intestine and ultimately joins up with the superior mesenteric vein. And then the superior mesenteric vein joins up with the gastrosplenic vein, we get the hepatic portal vein, we go back to the liver, so the liver can deal with all that blood. Alright, see you next time.